my name is Maeve. I am a 22 at Dartmouth. I'm from Minnesota. I'm Ojibwe. And on campus, I'm involved with Alpha Phi Sorority, the Sustainable Living Community, and I write for the Dartmouth newspaper. I like to do a lot of crafts, and I like to read, and I like to write. Hi, my name is Abby Fitzpatrick. I'm a 22. Um, I'm from Montana. I am Blackfeet. On campus, I'm involved in the Sustainability Living Center, um, Chi Delta Sorority, and I also hang out in Thayer a lot. <laughs> I think that the NAD community is really dedicated to supporting one another um, at any cost. We're always there for each other and we know um, how hard it can be on campus, but we also know how much fun it can be if we just like help each other out um, anywhere that we can. And I think that because we have so many similarities and so much understanding of each other, we know exactly what we need and like how we can help each other the best. Um, so I'd say that like the number one biggest value of the NAD community is support. And I'd say another one is just making each other visible on campus. Mm -hmm. um, I think that in my time at Dartmouth, everyone has done such a good job of making sure that Native Americans are visible on campus and not overlooked and not undervalued. Um, I think something that's very interesting about the Dartmouth Native community um, is the tie that it has to the um, professors, the Native American professors or Native American department professors. Um, they're very attainable and we are able to, you know, go to them with any um, problem that we have. They always meet us with open arms. They're always reaching out to us, mm -hmm. um, checking in on us. They understand the process of going to college and being so far away from home because a lot of them did it themselves. Um, and so they're just very kind to us. Mm -hmm. um, they're also just great resources academically. Um, I know students who have done research projects with the Native American faculty, and it's just a really great opportunity to be able to be so close to them and have them here. Abby and I got involved with the Native American community here through the fly-in program that we did when we were 17 years old. Um, and we actually met each other on that fly-in and we've been best friends ever since. <laughs> Around campus, the Native American community is super diverse, but we all share something in common. We've all, like, even though we come from a lot of different parts of the country, we all have had similar experiences, which is really cool um, meeting these people and feeling like you understand each other really well. Um, and the parts of the community that Abby and I have been involved with are Beating Circle, um, our freshman year, we were involved with powwow committee. I tutor for the NAP now, and I used to receive a lot of tutoring from the NAP, so it's nice to be able to pay that forward now as a senior. And I, um, I was an Indigenous peer advisor, um, so I helped mentor the upcoming freshmen that were coming into Dartmouth and transitioning here. Um, so yeah, we're a very close group. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of support throughout the classes, and it's just a really nice community to be in. Yeah, and the Nat House has like community dinners, and Abby and I don't live with the live in the NAD house, but we are living with a few underclassmen NADs right now. Um, so it's really great to see how the community kind of supports each other even away from mm -hmm. the actual dedicated space. Yeah.